हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम श्वेता जैन रिप्रेजेंटिंग शिव ज्योति एजुकेशनल ग्रुप कोटा टुडे वी विल स्टडी साइंस चैप्टर टू टीथ एंड डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम वी विल स्टडी दिस चैप्टर इन टू पार्ट्स इन पार्ट वन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट टीथ सेट्स ऑफ टीथ टाइप्स ऑफ टीथ पार्ट्स ऑफ अ टूथ टेकिंग केयर ऑफ टीथ वी विल ऑल्सो लर्न द वेज टू प्रोटेक्ट आर टीथ इन पार्ट टू we will discuss about digestive system and microbes so let us start with the first part of the chapter that is teeth students as we eat food with the help of our mouth we put the food inside our mouth then we bite it and chew it so which part of our body helps to chew and bite the food yes they are teeth so we need to take good care of teeth teeth are present in our mouth on the upper and lower jaw human beings have two sets of teeth children do you know that a newborn baby does not have any teeth as you can see in the picture shown here when it starts to grow and becomes 6 months old teeth starts appearing and as the child becomes 2 and a half year old he or she has 20 teeth this first set of teeth is called as temporary teeth or milk teeth these teeth begin to fall off when a child is about 6 years old most of you also have experienced the falling off of teeth and some of you might have observed the growth of new teeth in place of the fallen teeth milk teeth fall one by one and new teeth grows at the place of the milk teeth these new teeth are bigger than the milk teeth the set of teeth that takes place the milk teeth is called as permanent teeth so there are 32 permanent teeth in an adult these are present 16 in the upper jaw and 16 in the lower jaw so that's about the sets of teeth now we come to types of teeth as human beings are omnivorous in nature they have different types of teeth for different purpose and on the basis of their functions there are four basic types of teeth these are incisors canines premolars and molars we will study each of these one by one first is incisors incisors are sharp flat teeth in the front of each jaw these are used for cutting and biting the food these are eight incisors found in each jaw as you can see in the diagram over here these pointed teeth are called as incisors then second type is canines these are also sharp but pointed they are present on both sides of incisors these are meant for tearing the food they are four canines two in each jaw and children do you know that carnivorous animals who eat flesh their canines are very well developed and bigger in size to tear the flesh now third type is premolars these are flat and broad teeth present next to the canines they crush and chew the food there are eight premolars four in each jaw then there are molars at the back of each jaw there are flat and broad teeth called as molars molars are broader than premolars they help in chewing and grinding the food well there are 12 molars six in each jaw so this is all about the different types of teeth now we come to parts of a tooth have a look at the diagram over here a tooth has a two parts the upper exposed part which is present outside the gum is called as crown crown is again made up of two parts they are enamel and dentine enamel is the outermost white part it is the hardest substance present in our body and below an enamel lies this light colored part which is called as dentine it is also hard now 
the second part of tooth is root root again consists of two parts one is gum and another is pulp gum protects the teeth from outside and pulp is soft it lies below the dentine it forms the central part of the uh, tooth which is called as root canal inside this root canal there lies various blood vessels and nerves so this is all about the parts of a teeth now we come to taking care of teeth now what is the need of taking care of teeth teeth help us to cut tear and chew the food when we eat food the food particles get stuck in the gaps between our teeth these food particles need to be removed if teeth are not cleaned properly germs can grow on them and form a yellow sticky layer called as plaque this plaque is a colony of germs these germs can change the sugar present in the food particles into an acid and this acid attacks the enamel to make a hole called as cavity as you can see in the picture shown here this black part of the tooth is the cavity which is formed due to decay by germs that's why you are asked not to eat much chocolates and sweets now when the cavity reaches the pulp the tooth starts paining and it causes tooth decay and this tooth decay results in bad breath toothache and indigestion now we come to the ways to protect our teeth so to protect the tooth from getting decayed what are the various ways first of all we should follow some of these things first is brush your teeth twice a day that is in the morning and before the bedtime clean both the inner and outer surface of teeth properly brush the upper teeth downward and lower teeth upward brush the chewing surface of premolars and molars as shown in the picture over here the proper way to brush the teeth besides this we should rinse the mouth after every meal with water to remove food particles stuck between the teeth avoid eating too many chocolates sweets and sticky food as that these may stick to teeth and causes plaque formation and tooth decay and we should eat fruits and raw vegetables and drink milk every day because they keeps the teeth healthy besides doing all these we should also visit a dentist in every 6 months now we move to the book work i hope you all have understood this explanation well so let us start with the book work so come to page number 18 let's recall so children whenever you are doing your book work do it in a very good handwriting write the spellings correctly okay wherever help box is given you can see the spellings from the help box now fill in the blanks with the correct word here two words are given in the bracket you have to choose one which is the most appropriate one okay first we should brush our teeth dash daily twice or once so twice is the correct answer so we will put twice over here then the process of digestion starts in the dash mouth or stomach so mouth will come over here now third dash produces a digestive juice called bile liver or stomach so correct answer is liver then feces passes out of the body through the dash anus or small intestine so correct answer is anus then we should chew our dash well food or water so the correct answer is food so you have to write food over here now let's move to the next exercise it is on page number 20 exercise number a tick the correct answers how many permanent teeth are there in an adult here four options are given you have to put a tick mark on the correct option 32 16 20 22 so 32 is the correct answer so put a tick mark on uh, over 
Which of the following is not a type of tooth? Crown, incisor, canine, molar. So the correct answer is crown. It is the part of a tooth. How many molars are there in the upper jaw? 12, 16, 6 or 8. So 6 is the correct answer. The hardest substance in our body is crown, root, dentine, enamel. So enamel is the correct answer. So put a tick mark on enamel. What carries food from the mouth to the stomach? Esophagus, small intestine, large intestine or liver. So the correct answer is esophagus. So put a tick mark on esophagus. Now we move to next exercise. Exercise number B. Write T for true and F for false statement. So you have to write F or T in the given boxes. First, bacteria can cause diseases like malaria and dysentery. So the correct answer. This is not a correct statement because malaria and dysentery are caused by protozoa. So put a F over it. Microbes can be seen through a microscope and only. Yes, this is the correct statement. So we will write T over here. We should chew the food well. Again, T for true. Bile makes food soft and moist. This is the false statement. So F will come over here. Saliva makes the food soft and moist. Now we should drink milk every day for healthy tea. So this is the correct statement. So we write T over here. Now we move to the next exercise. Name the following. You have to write the names over here in good handwriting and with correct spellings. Okay. First, different types of teeth. They are incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Teeth which help in tearing the food. Canines. The process of breaking down of food into simpler substances. Digestion. Number of sets of teeth found in human. Two. And they are permanent and temporary. So put a comma over here and then write permanent and temporary. A machine through which we can see microbes. So the correct answer is microscope. Now let us come to the last exercise of this chapter. Identify the following pictures and write their names. The picture shown here is representing bacteria. So you will write bacteria over here. Then this is the picture of virus. So you will write virus over here. This is the picture of protozoa. So we will write protozoa over here. And this is the picture of fungi. So we will write fungi over here. So children, this is all about the chapter 2. I hope you all have understood it well. So thank you. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Stay home.